welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time since I've put up a video and I'm really sorry for that, but I will explain everything in this video. This video is kind of going to be an update announcement video why I've been gone. So yeah, just keep watching if you want to find out why I haven't been uploading any videos. you clicked on this video as you saw an announcement and you want to know what the announcement is well that announcement is that I am currently I'm pregnant um, so yeah right now I'm actually 15 weeks I'm almost 16 I will be 16 weeks on Thursday which is February 5th so I know I like could have announced earlier but you guys I was so sick and I'm gonna go into that so I guess this video is kind of like that is my huge announcement as why I've been away. I was actually very, very ill at the beginning of this pregnancy. I'm actually not 100% yet, so it was very hard for me to film. Um, but yeah, now I am feeling better and I'm going to be filming. So basically this is going to be, I guess, a pregnancy update video. And I'll kind of update you guys up until the 12 weeks. And then I will get into 12 to 16 weeks in my next update video, which will be on Thursday. So okay, so I'm going to try to keep this video organized and kind of not scatterbrained. But you all know me, I'm kind of a scatterbrained. So I hope this video isn't all over the place with updating you guys. It's been a while. It's been a while. I actually knew I was pregnant. I had actually tested two weeks prior to getting my positive and I had gotten a negative. I know some people will probably think that's a little anxious, but I was just so excited and I just knew I had this feeling. I wasn't like sick. I didn't have like sore boobs or anything, but I just like, there's just this feeling deep down in my gut that I was like, yeah, I know I'm pregnant this month. I know I am. I would actually started craving fish and I'm not a huge fish person, but battered fish. And that was before I knew as well. And I was just, oh Corey, I need to go and buy me like a battered haddock, whatever in a box, frozen fish to make. And I am just not a fish person. And I just like needed fish at that moment. So I think maybe that tipped me off a little too. But then finally, like two weeks after, I was like, I know I have to be pregnant. I tested earlier last time. I'm going to test again. And of course, it came up positive. And we did two tests, and two of them came up positive. And of course, we were just over the moon excited. But then you get so excited, and you can't tell people until you're 12 weeks. And that's like the hardest secret to keep, is keeping that from your family and your friends. And... Yeah, and actually the only person we had told early was my sister because I'm going to be her maid of honor this summer. So I had to tell her because I was going to a fitting for maid of honor dress or like her bridesmaid's dress. And I wasn't going to be the same size as I was going to be now because her wedding is actually like a month and a half before I'm... After I found out, of course, then my chest started to grow a lot. So... Yeah, that is not fun. That's probably the worst thing about pregnancy for me is I don't like my chest growing at all because they're in the way enough. I don't need them to be any bigger. The only crazy craving I had in between the when I found out to 12 weeks was one night I was craving Caesar salad so bad that I was like, I can't eat anything in the house. Everything else in the house looks disgusting. All I want is Caesar salad. So Corey, being the awesome fiance that he is, went out and bought me not only a bag of Caesar salad, but romaine lettuce to make some, and like dressing, and Parmesan, and croutons, because he wasn't sure what type I was going to want. So that was awesome. But that was the only real big craving I had, other than the fish before I actually knew. I started to feel somewhat sick, but it wasn't so bad when I first found out, like a couple weeks after. But as I got closer, like farther along in my pregnancy, I was so sick all the time. I actually wasn't throwing up all the time, but it was a nauseous feeling all the time. So everything was disgusting. I couldn't eat. Hot drinks to this day are still very hard for me because anytime I try and drink like a tea or anything, instantly I'd be dry heaving over the toilet. So I couldn't do that. So I did start to lose a lot of weight. Sorry, Caden is very noisy. But I did start to lose a lot of weight. I actually am right now in 12 pounds under what I was when I found out I was pregnant. So I was losing a lot of weight. Um, I just was having a really hard time eating anything because I felt like so slow and nauseous and that's why I wasn't filming because I was so exhausted, so tired, like I'm tired all the time now as well. 
and just nauseous, no, feeling no. icky, not wanting to move because every time I got up to move, I would feel like I was going to throw up, but then I wouldn't actually throw up. It was just the worst feeling ever and nothing could make me feel better. So when I went to the doctor and he did weigh me and saw that I lost a lot of weight, um, he did put me on a medication called Diclectin, which has helped quite a bit. I haven't gained any weight yet, but I'm not losing any right now, uh, which is good. Uh, and I'll get more into that on my further on update. Uh, he did put me on, I think, I believe at 12 weeks he did put me on. So right at the end at the 12 week mark. And yeah, so I'll let you know how that is completely working in my next update. Oh, my skin. At the beginning, whew, it's not so bad right now. Of course, you guys know I have acne, so it's not like my skin is ever perfect. But I was having the worst breakouts ever ever at the beginning. My face was broken out everywhere that I was so embarrassed, but it like I didn't want to put makeup on top of it because I thought it would make it worse. And I guess just my hormones were going crazy. I was tired. I was nauseous. And I looked crazy on my face because it was so broken out and gross. So yeah, that kind of is like most of it. I'll tell you guys how I told my parents. I did tell my parents around Christmas time we dressed Caden up in a cute little shirt that said I'm being promoted to big brother. And we just let them wait until they figured it out. My mom, well, I, we actually told her, and then my mom was telling people to look at the shirt, so I ended up asking her to not mention it, and I did take well, my one brother and the rest of my family a good, probably about like almost two hours before they realized what the shirt said, but that was kind of a fun and exciting way to announce my pregnancy to my family, and then to the rest of our friends and family, we made a uh, photo. Oh my god, I'm spitting so much. That's another thing. I've been having problems with like lots of saliva. Did anyone else have that? Like, where I'm salivating way too much. That's probably gross. Sorry. Um, for the rest of our friends and family, we ended up telling them with a photo announcement and I just sent along this photo and it was an eviction notice and I'll like put the picture right here. It's really cute of Caden in his crib having an eviction notice on the crib saying he has to evacuate by July 24th, which I thought was really cute. So anyways, that is all. I know this is like a crazy update. Oh yeah, I also was going to let you guys know I'm actually going on holidays this Thursday I leave on the 5th and I'm going on holidays for a week so that's super exciting it's my last real chance to travel Whoa. before I'm too far along to really travel so I'm going on holidays and that's super exciting but I'm going to be pre-filming a bunch of videos so that you guys don't have another blank spot because I feel really bad for not updating you guys in a month but I was so sick and I hope you guys understand anyways that is all for this huge update and announcement I'm so excited to finally be able to share with you guys and make sure you stay tuned on Thursday because then I'll have my 12 week to 16 week update and kind of get you guys up to date on where I'm at right now with my pregnancy. But I guess, yeah, I'll show you my belly in my next pregnancy update <laughs> just because there's no point in showing it now. I, yeah. But anyways, that is all. I love you guys. I miss you guys so much and I'm so excited to be doing videos again. I will see you in my next video. Bye.